guys, this is Mark and I'm doing a quick tutorial on how to use uTorrent. And the reason I'm doing this is because a lot of friends of mine out there ask, how do you get free software, how do you get free movies or uh, music, things like that, free games. Well, it's called uTorrent. uTorrent software is free to use at your own discretion. Now, what you want to do is first things first, step one, you want to go to uTorrent.com. And this page will look like this. You want to make sure that it is the actual official site of utorrent.com before you download the software. There are other sites that you can download the software from, but the settings are totally different. So you want to download it directly from utorrent.com. There are other torrent software that you can use, but this is the one that I do recommend. Now once you download the software and install it, which is right here, you click on this large icon. It says free download. That's actually a real download link, which it will bring you up to this page here, so don't worry about that. Once you had got this message here, you can go ahead and click on save and save file. So it'll download uTorrent and you can open it and run the actual program. I've actually already have uTorrent, so I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It looks like this, and when you download something, it'll have the information on this part right here. So let's go ahead and show you how to download with uTorrent. I'm taking it out of the way for right now. Go to google.com and when you get there, you can type in what you're looking for. However, like I said, let's uh, first things first, show you how to look for it. Let's say you're looking for a game like Crisis. Type in Crisis Torrent. And it'll bring you to the first few pages, which is the second one I like because the Pirate Bay right now is not that great with this website, which I do like it, but it's actually under a lot of pressure right now, so I'd stay away from there. Uh, ISO Hunt, the second one. You can tell that it's ISO Hunt because it says so on the bottom of the description. So that's a way to keep from viruses to people, and I'll do a video on that as well later on to stay clear or, or stay away from viruses but this is going to be for you torrent and if you click on this download crisis ISO hunt you're basically downloading the first version of it the, the very first one not the second one the second one's not out yet and you can tell when people don't put the second one out because it's all junk and it's not able to be used because you have to have a key things like that these will actually have a key and all the information now you got to be careful because pop-ups like this will come up on some sites which these are not dangerous I'm trying to give you the good sites that are not dangerous so isohunt.com take a look at another site here called torrentsland.com I will post the link in the description of the video so that way you guys can see all that and you have kickasstorrents.com now these other two websites don't have pop-ups as much as ISO hunt does because ISO hunt is prone for viruses so please be careful going there but uh, the safest way to do it is to search through Google have it take you to it and download it from there but these three sites are something that I would recommend that you do now you see here on this site direct download is also a good thing to use but let's go back to let's say torrentsland.com And you'll see here there's a bunch of um, videos already on the top of the page which is the latest videos that have been uploaded and you see the health is all the way green which means that you can download it and there'll be plenty of seeds so let's try downloading this uh, Weapon X codename Wolverine uh, movie you gotta click on it and once it takes you to the download page what you do is you click download and torrents And that's what you do when you actually download your torrents. You see it automatically shows that the program it's going to use is uTorrent to download this with. And what you want to simply do, because these torrent files don't take but two seconds to down, uh, download, you want to click on open. And right here you see it'll bring up this page right here in the information showing the movie. You want to click OK. And let's bring the uTorrent software in. Because what it was doing is it was actually loading the uTorrent software. 
So you see here is your download. There's your down speed, which is your download speed of what you're actually going to be looking at. And as you see, my download speed is continuously increasing because I do have high speed internet. And it'll tell you the estimated time of arrival on your download file. Most downloads will go into your will automatically go into your My Documents folder and Downloads pay, uh, folder as well. So it'll create a downloads folder in your My Documents folder. So again, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on how to use YouTube Art. Another thing I want to let you guys know is I'm sorry about my voice and not been feeling too well, so I tried my best here. Now, if you right click on the actual file, I'm going to leave you with a little hint. You go down to bandwidth allocation, you switch it to high, it'll increase the down speed even farther, or even higher, I should say. So, keep watch on this uh, YouTube, keep watch on this YouTube channel because I'll be doing a lot more uh, software tutorials, things like that that I can think of. Anything else that you guys can think of that you need help on, please let me know. But again, this is YouTube work, and this is um, due to a couple of requests from my YouTube, YouTube channel directly. So thank you very much for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. Have a wonderful day.